This is gonna be a very quick video, just informing you I'm on Letterboxd. No, this is not a sponsorship, I'm not getting paid, although I wish they would pay me. Um, I just really like the service. If you're a movie lover like myself, I would absolutely recommend using this service. It's free, there is a paid tier, but it's very cheap. It's like 20 or 30 bucks a year, and there's often sales that go on for even cheaper. I paid for the membership because I couldn't change my user handle, which was originally Feud Nation. If anybody's been here for a long time, they know my channel used to be called Feud Nation. I was gonna do movie feuds, food feuds, game feuds, any type of debate you could think of I was gonna do. I really had really had lofty expectations back in the day. Those have since been destroyed. But still, regardless, I did change the name. It's now Adam Does Movies. You can follow me there if you want. I'll put the link in the description. And as a bonus, if you are a Patreon or a YouTube Join member, which you also should be, it's there's a dollar tier even, you will get access to me as a friend. I will follow your sweet ass on Letterboxd. I already posted comments for both Patreons and YouTube Join members in our specific channels. So look for that post and put your username in the comments section and I will make sure to get on it. I will get right on it. What the hell is Letterboxd, Adam, you son of a bitch? You ask in a very aggressive, puzzling way. Letterboxd is simply a place where you can catalog movies you've seen over the years. You can date when you went to them, or you can do kind of a looser answer like I did because I was too lazy to go back and hunt down specifically the day and time I went to a film. I don't know if you can put the time. I, that would be insane. I, it's just the date. You rate the videos one to five stars, have these stars are in there. Keep in mind, I've been on Letterboxd for many a years and I didn't use it actively for like the last five. So I've been playing a lot of catch up. I still have a long way to go. There's still old movies on there. I haven't cataloged. There's some new ones I missed. I have to rate some of them still, but I am actively using the service now and it's a lot of fun. I even have some written reviews on there. I didn't know I did. I must've been really bored at my last job because normally I don't take the time to write anything about these things. I'm too busy making content for this channel. Regardless, it lets you know a little bit more about my tastes. And if some of you think I hate every movie, you might be pleasantly surprised. I in fact, like a shit ton of movies quite a bit. Probably more than some of the cynical jaded assholes in the comments here, and I love them too. If you are a Patreon or a YouTube Join member, I can't wait to follow you and see what you think, uh, how we align on some of these videos. And it's also fun to read other people's reviews. You might be one of those people that actually writes a lengthy synopsis or a reaction to every movie you've seen. And I can't wait to dig in, a little bone appetite for me. The other really great thing about Letterboxd that I haven't done yet, and I'm going to absolutely do in the coming weeks, if not days, is make lists. Favorite Halloween movies, favorite Christmas movies, top 10 comedies, that's a video I'm working on currently, and that's gonna be up on Letterboxd before the video even gets out. So you get a sneak peek at my ranking. You get to know ahead of time what movies I'm gonna have on there. That might be a pro or a con, depending on how much you like to be secretive about things. How much you like to be surprised when a video comes out. Hell, I might go hog wild. That's an expression people used to say for some reason. And put my top 50 or top 100 movies of all time on a list. That would be a, that'd be a project, but one I think I could do. One I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. If you're a statistic person, there's all sorts of crazy stats you can see about films as well. I, I haven't even really dug into a lot of the offerings. I just implore you to check it out. And again, maybe think about joining me on Patreon or YouTube. There's a $1 tier on Patreon. So it's not like it's a big entry to get on board, right? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Wanted to make a quick one about this because we as movie fans need to stick together. We need to talk about films we like and celebrate the ones others do as well, even if they're piss poor. I can still appreciate when someone gets lost in the magic of a really bad movie. <laughs> All right, take care. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully I'll see you around. Wow, this is awkward. You're still here. I already said goodbye. But since you are still here, hit that notification bell, damn it. It's just sitting there. You need to press it to get these videos in your feed. Otherwise, they're lost. They're gone. It's up to YouTube to decide who it deems worthy of getting these beautiful films, these beautiful videos right in a person's feed. And spoiler alert, they don't top Jimmy Fallon. They don't top uh, hateful Brie Larson videos. Those are the ones that are gonna get pushed first. So hit the notification bell, I implore you. <laughs>